Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today's video is on Be Quiet's new Silent Wings Pro 4 fans. We're going to get them out, we're going to see the accessories that come with them, we're going to talk about the speeds, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's get to it. Here we go. Okay, so here's a look at our fans. These are the Be Quiet Silent Wings Pro 4 fans. It comes in both 120 and 140 millimeter. PWM fans. Now the 120 PWM fans could go from 1600 RPM at medium, 2500 for high speed, and 3000 for ultra high speed. Now the ones we have here, the 140 millimeter PWM, start at 11, go to 19, go to 24. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to take one out, show you the settings. It actually has a switch on the back of the fans, and of course it comes with accessories. So let's get one out of the box and have a look at it. So let's start by getting it out of the box. So it says high speed, silent wings pro 4, legendary silence, epic performance and features, 140 millimeter. As I mentioned, PWM fans. Let's see what we got. So we have an accessories pack here, and of course, this is going to be our fan. So let's get that out and see what we got. So in here, let's just quickly get it out. Beauty. And we need that box. Okay, so nice long cable. Okay, so. And of course your four pin for PWM. And one of the nice things it has, I like the way the ridges are in the fans. Okay, so you're gonna get good airflow. We'll go over that in a little bit here. And they have these corners. So these corner pieces come out. So how do they come out? That's a good question. Let's find out. They should just pop right out, but let's find out here. Okay, so you have these little tabs, so you depress them. Okay, once you got them out, it's gonna lift off. All right, now what do you want to take that off for? Well, let's, let me show you. First, we're going to get to the little accessory packet. So in our accessory, in our accessory packet, what do we got? So we have some extra screws, probably for radiators. And we have your other screws, normal screws to fasten it in with. But more importantly, the, so if you want to use these, very simple. Put them on the same as the other one. So we're going to focus on this, you just put them on there and it's just going to depress and there you go. So that's it, that's all there is to put it on. Now to take it back off, same thing, push on the sides here, you just push it in and then it's going to pop back off, all right? Just push on this corner, once you hear it click, pops back off and you're good. I'll explain what these are, what more they do and uh, what you can use them for goes on and off very easily right but that's not all we want to know what I want to know are they really as quiet as they say they are okay so we've got a couple of our fans plugged in here you can see them going now again this is the 140s so the 140s is 1100 at medium 1900 at high speed and 2400 at ultra high speed now there's a setting or a switch on the back of the fans which once you've got these in a case it's going to be hard to get to but I'm going to just quickly show you that if I can touch it without touching the fan here and I'm going to put my mic to it uh, just to give you a demonstration so here's your switch starts off the default setting is on the low goes to the high and then ultra high now once that's on a case though it's going to be kind of hard to get to it. Maybe they should have put it on the front for easier access. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So, anyhow, what I want to show you as well, if I can situate this. I mentioned these corners. Okay, so what these are designed for is for radiators. So if you have a radiator, apparently this is going to work a lot better. Uh, and, and that's what it's designed for. It's just to give a different way um, for fitting it with your radiator. So apparently that's a much better way to go. Now let me put my uh, mic onto the fan so you can hear it. And I'm going to adjust the different speeds. So let me just turn this around again. Okay, so here's the speed it starts at. We'll turn it up one. And we'll turn it all the way up. Even at the high speed. Um, I'm not really hearing a whole lot. So, anyway. 
Now, you can leave this at the high speed, just go and do that. You can go in and make your adjustments in your BIOS, all that kind of good stuff. Um, just depends on what you want to do. The quietness of these fans is quite impressive. Uh, so you're going to get these for studio quality, uh, to get studio quietness. And if you're doing recording, you want something that's going to be that quiet so as not to interfere with anything. It's actually... The case fans in my case from Corsair are louder than the ones I have running right now. Which is pretty surprising when you really think about it. So some of the uh, dimensions and different things, we'll go over that real quick. So the fan dimensions, like I said, is 140 by 140 by 25. The voltage range is 5-13.2. Okay, fan speed max is 2400. Fan, the noise level is 36.8 decibel or dBA. The airflow is 97.14 or 165.5. Air pressure is about 3.64. The input power is 6.0 in watts. And input current is 0 0.50 in amps. Like I said, the connector is a 4-pin PWM and a lifespan at 25 degrees Celsius is 300,000 hours. So that's just all great information to know and I thought I would pass that on to you. And here you can see the markings on the back. All right, and I've got it at the full speed. All that kind of good stuff, just in case you're interested in it. And here you can see this one's at full speed and that one's at a little bit slower. So you can see the difference of how they're performing. Now they do come with a five-year uh, manufacturer's warranty which is pretty impressive that means they're standing by their product to tell you they're pretty certain of how long it's going to last I mean fans are going to last a long time anyway but this is just telling you it's going to last at least five years and by that time you're probably switching your system out anyway but even if you're not they will probably outdo multiple systems but by that point in time again you're going to have new fans coming out and you I don't know I tend to switch mine around a lot and for those of you that want to see all the information for yourself, there you go. All the input powers, all the kind of stuff, all the stuff I just mentioned. But I just thought I'd show that to you. And down at the bottom is a scope of supply, radiator optimized fan corners. Okay, rubber, hard plastic, mountains, push pan, fan screws, and manual. So it does give you a lot of options. Now I'm running two of these. You can run up to four, actually, um, surprisingly. Uh, actually, I think it's three. Uh, uh, I, I have it on a fan hub, and I'm running uh, two, it, two on it right now with no problems. I'm pretty sure I could run three. Four might be pushing it, but I still think that's probably within the threshold. So a few more things that uh, just to uh, pass on. So the Silent Wings Pro 4, okay, it gives higher static pressure and airflow capabilities. It has a tighter tolerance between the blade edge and the, bl and the fan frame. I'll get this right. The optimized blade and hub design ensure the Silent Wings Pro 4 offers an exceptional performance to noise ratio at any speed. Now you have a six pole fan motor with three phases for very low power consumption, less vibration and therefore quieter operation. Like I mentioned about the uh, different ones, so you can change these up for the ones that are on it, for um, radiators, corners, and it's designed to seal against the surface to improve the performance by guiding air through the radiator. All right? You, of course, have the speed switch between medium, high, and ultra high speed in a second. And uh, ultimately, pretty good case. Now, one of the big things of this, of course, is price. You're going to pay about, I think it's $60 Canadian. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Because these were sent to me, of course. Um, but I like them a lot. And one of the problems I found is trying to find fans that don't have RGB on them. It's not easy to do. So if you don't want that and you just want quiet and performance, these should work perfectly for you. So a couple more things I want to touch on is the fact that it has seven fan blades. They're slightly less curved, than, or actually more curved than uh, the predecessor um, and one of the things there's quite a bit of heft to them well you look at this cable look at how well designed that is okay 
they've done a lot of work to make sure this is very secure and it's just going to last longer it's not going to take as much damage i just thought that was worth mentioning and you can tell me whether you thought it was or not all right everybody so that's pretty much my take on those fans uh they were sent to me why be quiet been a great supporter of my channel um i love their fans i always have right from the start there's just something about them the way they work how quiet they are they're like i thought the corsair fans were really quiet these these are way better in fact the corsair fans when i was trying to demonstrate them were almost overpowering them um with noise for decibel level so that's something that i thought was pretty uh unique um it certainly stood out don't get me wrong i like the corsair fans as well but these ones are a little nicer. But Corsair, of course, has the RGB. So now, if you're looking for RGB, Be Quiet also has RGB uh, fans and 120, 140. So those are out there. I've done a video on it. So if you want to look back and see that, um, good quality. They've done a lot of work with their cabling, uh, fan blades, everything, the speed. One of the things I'm going to mention as well is the um, the switch. You can just turn it up to full, leave it there. And you can still go in and set your fan speeds and all that kind of stuff. It's up to you to decide whether you want to do that or not. Somebody also mentioned you can leave them at the low speed. Go into your fan curve and that will adjust it as well. So just things to, uh, to know that you can do. So what if you want to just put it full out and leave it that way, that's certainly something you can do. All right, just to let you know. Hey, that's the video. I, don't, I hope I didn't miss too much. I uh, tried to get as many details as I could. Um, let me know what you think, whether you liked it or not, what you think of the fans. Um, could you even hear the fans? <laughs> I put my uh, mic right next to it, and honestly, I couldn't even hear it. Like, I hear it a little bit, but not a whole lot. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're new here. It really helps the channel. Uh, hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. And uh, you can join, you can hit that super thanks, um, anything you want. You want to talk with me, leave me a comment, uh, leave me something, uh, a direct message on Twitter, I'll get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a while because I'm not as good on Twitter as I should be, but I will definitely get back to you at some point. So if it's urgent, put it in the comments, I'll probably answer that faster, just so you know. I see it quicker. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.